Today is Australia's National Day, the 26th of January. It is a day when Australians reflect on what we have achieved and what we can do better. Whether at home or abroad, on this day, Australians consider our history, looking back before European settlement to the rich traditions of our first Australians, the world's oldest living civilization at more than 65,000 years old. In Australia, it is customary in speeches and at major events to begin with what we call a welcome to country, which pays respect to the indigenous owners of the land. This is our way of honouring the first custodians of the ancient continent of Australia and acknowledging the ongoing contributions of Australia's indigenous peoples today. On Australia Day, we also celebrate what we have achieved as a modern immigrant nation. Today, more than half of Australians were born overseas or have a parent who was born overseas. More and more of this group originate from countries in the Indo-Pacific region, including a vibrant Sri, Sri Lankan community. This signifies where Australia sees our future, right here in our shared Indo-Pacific neighbourhood. As a regional neighbour and friend, Australia has a long-term interest in seeing a stable and prosperous Sri Lanka, where benefits of development and growth reach all members of the community. In the 76 years since Australia established diplomatic ties with then Ceylon, our relationship has gone from strength to strength, in good times and in challenging times. We are very conscious that many Sri Lankans have been doing it tough lately as a result of the economic crisis. In response to this, Australia has supported thousands of Sri Lankans through our development cooperation programs, which have helped to provide economic opportunity and move the country back towards sustainable growth. For example, our programs have skilled up people from diverse backgrounds to win jobs in the tourism sector, help small and medium enterprises prepare and market new products for export, and provided relief packages to the most vulnerable groups, including women and girls. A range of Australian companies is also looking to invest in Sri Lanka's energy and resources sectors, which offer great potential. Such investment is important to create jobs and bring diversity and dynamism to the economy. Without doubt, the backbone of the bilateral relationship is our people-to-people -people connection. With a diaspora of around 170,000, people of Sri Lankan origin make a vital contribution to Australia's rich multicultural society while retaining close links to their homeland. Education is another bedrock of the relationship with over 15,000 Sri Lankan students studying in Australia currently, while thousands more of us travel to each other's countries each year as tourists. Our joint efforts to combat transnational crimes such as people smuggling are a pillar of the relationship in this regard. The cooperation between our respective defence, police, border and customs agencies is truly gold standard, built on over a decade of working together closely. Sri Lankans and Australians also share a passion for sport, especially cricket. Cricket might be just a game, but it's also a starting point for a friendly conversation as well as a certain rivalry between Sri Lankans and Australians everywhere. I was deeply touched by the many messages of congratulations I received from Sri Lankan friends and colleagues after Australia recently won the Cricket World Cup. As Australia's High Commissioner in Sri Lanka, I'm honoured to be here on Australia Day and to have the opportunity to acknowledge the occasion with many friends from Sri Lanka and Australians who are based here. I wish all viewers a very happy Australia Day as well as prosperity and good health in 2024. Good evening.